Hello. In this video, we will look at an SOA exam P sample question. SOA is the Society of Actuaries. We are looking at a sample question for exam P, which you will find on the SOA website. The question is number 22. Let's read the question. A health study tracked a group of persons for five years. At the beginning of the study, 20% were classified as heavy smokers, 30% as light smokers, and 50% as non-smokers. Again, 20% as heavy smokers. I'm going to call heavy smokers H. 30% as light smokers. Let's call them L. And 50% as non-smokers. Let's call them N. Now, results of the study showed that light smokers were twice as likely as smokers to die during the five-year study, but only half as likely as heavy smokers. Again, results of the study showed that light smokers were twice as likely as non-smokers to die during the five-year study, but only half as likely as heavy smokers. So these can be viewed as, as conditional probabilities. So if you let your non-smokers, if you label this as probability as X, then light smokers should be 2X and heavy smokers should be 4X. I repeat, these are conditional probabilities, conditional given that they were heavy, given that they were light and given that they were non-smokers. Okay, let's read on. A randomly selected participant from the study died during the five-year period. So let's denote the act of dying as D. So D is dying. So you're asked to calculate the probability that the participant was a heavy smoker. So you're asked to find the probability of H given D. So this we know from our formula that we have used in our statistics class, conditional probabilities, A given B is A and B over B. So we can write this as H and D over D. Good. Now, let's look at the tree diagram that I've drawn here for you. I've got H, L and N, heavy, light and non. The probabilities are given. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.5. And these are the conditional probabilities of dying given that somebody was a heavy smoker, given that somebody was a light smoker, and given that somebody was a non-smoker. And so we have x here, 2x here, and 4x here. Good. Now remember we want to find this, so we need the numerator and the denominator. The numerator, h and d, is easy. Just go along the branch. It will be 0 0.2 times 4x. You will get 0.8x. So the probability of d, you can go along this branch, you can go along this branch, or you can go along this branch. So the probability of d will be probability of h and d, probability of l and d, probability of n and d, Add up these, let's do that, 0.2 times 4x plus 0.3 times 2x plus 0.5 times x, you'll get 1.9x. So the numerator is 0.8x, the denominator is 1.9x, Take put one over the other, 0.8x over 1.9x, you'll get 8 over 19. Use a calculator and you'll get 0.421. Correct response, D.